Wind is, of course, for speed surfing, one of the most important factors. That's why these kinds of competitions are held on windy, but often far off spots like Fort Ventura. Fort Ventura is an oblong island with a lot of mountains. These mountains press the wind apart, which causes a low pressure area. The strong wind caused by the low pressure is sucked between the mountains, exactly at Sotavento. This wind can develop such an enormous power that it is sometimes even too much for the best surfers in the world. And that's saying a good deal. The boards used for these competitions are light and relatively long and small. That's why they also call them pins. The purpose is to get as little resistance as possible with the water. The less resistance, the less friction, and the more speed. It seems incredible that you can go so fast on such a small board, and this is only with wind power. Similar boards are specially developed for these competitions, but there is also a separate ranking for production boards, boards that are usually for sale in every surf shop. Here is Michael Puckler of Austria. On the first day of the event, he tries to assault the world speed record for production boards, and that's where he succeeds with a speed of 35.1 knots. I did the first run, and it was 34. That's over the world record. I was very happy about it. So I did the next one with 35.5. That was the fastest on uh, time now. So. I'm really happy and I wait for more wind. The old world record was on the name of Dito Bechter from West Germany. On the second day, he succeeds in taking it back from Pucker. Here, he achieves a speed of no less than 35.28 knots, that's 65.33 kilometers an hour. And here it is, the production board, generally for sale in every surf shop. And this is Michael Pucker again, who goes all out to take his brand new record back again. And he succeeds and sets the new world record for production boards with 35.61 knots. But I'm happy now with the production 36.2 because that's over the uh, speed record for overalls uh, for the sailboat. So that's okay. If I... <laughs> the biggest curiosity during this speed event was the Tritum from the UK. Can you go faster with three sails than just one? Well, uh, we've done plenty of sailing on solo boards, but when you get on a big machine like this, real power, you've got two guys behind you, you're all pulling together. It's just, it's just a much greater sort of experience, you know. All the thrill of sailing a solo board and the weight and the strength of a big board, it's just something more. Is it dangerous to surf on such a trident? Oh, no, it's not dangerous. I mean... You gotta be careful, but you have to have a lot. I'm on the front, I have to know that the guy behind me is gonna sort of not bail out over me and he's gotta rely on the back. And such a spectacular crash is of course worth a picture. This is Pascal Maka. At first, he had difficulty in starting up, but eventually he proved to be the fastest surfer of the event. His fastest speed, 37.14 knots. That's 68.78 kilometers an hour. Maka will stay world record holder. Yeah, because uh, y yesterday I had some trouble. The wind was very uh, unstable, so I could not catch a good gust. And uh, this morning I woke up very early and I went in the container to work on my equipment. And then this morning I was ready, the first to start on the course. And now I did a good time. At Sotavento, Eric Beal managed to get hold of the second place on the ranking list again. His fastest speed, 36.75 knots, 68.06 kilometers an hour. Third, the American Kirk Darrow, his speed 36.55 knots, 67.69 kilometers an hour. And with a speed of 36.38 knots or 67.37 kilometers an hour, Doug Bischoff from the USA eventually ended fourth. Another American, Fred Haywood, with 36.09 knots or 66.83 kilometers an hour, good for a fifth place finish in the ranking list. Number six, the Australian Peter Downs.
The Frenchman Jean-Pierre Siret was seventh. And in eighth place, also a Frenchman, Thierry Bioc. The fastest woman at Sotavento, as mentioned, Britt Dunkerbeck with 33.65 knots or 62.31 kilometers an hour. Look at her incredibly smooth style. Followed by world record holder Elizabeth Coquel from France. She'll remain also after Sotavento, the fastest woman. Third was Patty Whitcomb from Hawaii. In fourth place, Paula Wickens from the UK, but she could go home contentedly with a new British record.